Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Today I was working on the space fighter. I'm thinking that there really is no universal fighter that can be launched from every single planet, but at the same time I wanted to see if I could try. The fighter that I made strictly for Duna was great for Duna because of its low gravity and thin atmosphere, so it could only it, it only needed one engine in order to get up there. But the same type of design wasn't gonna make it like for say, Kerbin. Now, before I tried anything that you're seeing now, I actually put rapiers on it, give it the appropriate amount of fuel and everything else, and tried to turn it into an SSTO. The thing about a fighter is that it needs to carry missiles. Not just cannons, or in this case fireworks, Kraken fireworks, hacked fireworks, I don't know what you call it, but it needs to carry missiles for long range engagement. It needs to be light on its feet, be able to man maneuver, and have enough delta V to make those maneuvers. We're talking about Kerbin here, so an SSTO that has to carry missile payloads, as well as a bunch of other stuff, is gonna be, um, well if I tried to make it as the, at the same size as you see it before you, it wasn't gonna work. I would need to make it much, much longer actually. Not only that, but probably would have to have three engines instead of two. The reason why is because I already tested it out with two engines, two rapiers, and I didn't get about 10,000 meters off the ground before it reached about 400 meters per second and then started slowing down, which usually means my TWR sucks. So I added a, I forgot off the top of my head, I can't remember, I think it's a ramjet. One of the best jets in the game, second to the rapier when it comes to power and altitude. And that seemed to work. It was able to push it fast enough so that the rapiers could catch enough air to actually start going into overdrive, you know how they do, and then zip on into space. But by the time I finally got into space, I had like a pinch of fuel left, which is not good when you're trying to make something that's supposed to have a bunch of this, a lot of delta V left over to be able to make maneuvers and stuff of this nature. I'm looking for at least a thousand delta V, because you gotta remember we got the Vernor engines that are fuel hungry, and plus you want to be able to get to the target, right, to engage the target so you got to have delta v to do that anyway long story short i ditched the whole ssto idea and just went for like a two-stage rocket idea now trust me when i say that i am very 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 familiar with ssto's i've been building them for eight years now and i can do interplanetary ssto's ssto's that go to jewel i've built ssto's that go to eve and back i've built low-tech ssto's i've built SSTOs that only have rocket engines on them or better known as SSRTs, uh, coin framed, framed what? A terminology that was made way before SSTO was a thing. It was it was called SSRT, it was made, my, made by McDonnell Douglas, which is now Boeing, and it stands for Single Stage Rocket Technology. Later on, many years later, they would coin it more of a, a SSTO or single stage to orbit, but yeah. I've made single stage rocket technology vehicles in real solar system realism overhaul. So I'm very, very, very familiar with the technology. I remember it was like me and V4 Virus and uh, two or three other people that were building SSTOs to travel around the solar system before gentlemen like Marcus House and Matt Lone ever even started their channels. But we're getting off the topic. Let me kick my soapbox here. All that good stuff. So when I say I tried to make this thing an SSTO to the best of my ability, unless somebody else can think of a design that's just as compact and tight and be able to get up there with that kind of payload and have a bunch of Delta V left over for maneuvers, let me know in the comments below because I'm always willing to hear what other people have come up with. And who knows, even though I've been playing this game for so, so many years, I might learn something new. You're always learn something new in this game to be honest and there's a little th thing here and there but ksp is one of those games where you really you never really master it you become a specialist but you're always learning something new i figured it could still be recoverable it's not like a throwaway stage at first i was just messing around with a rocket like a throwaway rocket but then i figured well why can't it be like a rocket plane with the fighter on its back be able to launch it and come back and land i mean that'd be pretty cool you could have these fighters kind of lined up in silos all ready to go ready to scramble in a moment's notice and engage the enemy kind of reminded me of like halo uh halo reach when they jumped into the fighter and it was just it was, it was more like a conventional conventional rocket all the way up to the all the way up to space but like i said i wanted to be able to reuse everything so technically the bottom half of the rocket that gets it into sub suborbital speeds would be like spacex and return back and land i'm actually still working on that part or now I'm trying to figure out center of mass and center of lift and get it right. Because it is a very awkward looking vessel. It's not perfect. But it's pretty close. I mean, I'm 
I'm at the uh, end of the research there. Just gotta keep it from flipping out. Because I'm, I'm trying to make it turn left towards the island and land on the island. Something tells me I'm probably gonna have to put jets on the damn thing. I, I'm, I really wouldn't, would like not to have to do that. But if I gotta do that, then I gotta do that. Maybe just like one jet. Like maybe a... What was it? The Panther or something like that? I don't know. I'll just have it with its own fuel source and everything in the very far back. But it seems to work. The uh, fighter is able to get into orbit with over a thousand Delta V left over. So it's ready to go, ready to rock and roll. It's got its missile payload and everything else. And of course, its booster stage technically, air quote, would be able to fly back to Kerbin and land. Now, I have not tested the fighter coming back to Kerbin and landing. I'm sure it'd work perfectly because everything's already been tested out many, many times, even with Duna and, of course, in the hangar bay. All the center of mass and center of lift, everything lines up with when it's empty, so I'm pretty sure it'd be all right. One of the things I really liked about the design, however, was just how cool it looked with the booster having its own, like, jet wings and, or not jet, what am I talking about? You know, wings and stuff, and the fighter kind of looking like a very NASA-ish space shuttle design almost, but it's a fighter, you know, which is kind of cool. But yeah, that's what I've been working on for the past uh, three or four hours. Maybe I'll get back to it later and make it so the booster stage can land properly. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.